can't even 
my opinion. 
Congrats. I've been subscribed for years now and I haven't even noticed. This is my favorite ASMR channel. What's the best item you've eaten on this channel? Also, what is your favorite soda you've tried on this channel? Thanks. Much love from Saipan. Thank you. Okay, the soda is easy. That would be Dr. Pepper Strawberries and Cream. Delicious. I love that soda. It's the best soda out of any of them, but that's not hard because most of them have been terrible. Seriously. And the uh, best food that I've had probably at the Wingstop. You know, like I've had this big spread of Wingstop. Not to say that a lot of the things haven't been very good, but that was particularly good. I think I did that twice. Maybe three times. I don't know. What's some advice you would give to someone about to graduate from college and enter the workforce? I'm a senior at my college and have no clue how to navigate the world. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I guess you'll be graduating pretty soon. Pretty quick. 
unless you're planning on going for further education, which you probably aren't or you wouldn't be asking, or if you're not sure yet, so, you know, look online, I'm sure you've done that, apply to things, I know you have to apply to like hundreds of things these days before you hear back from one, you know, that's just unfortunately how it can be, just don't be discouraged even if you don't get the job of your dreams, which you probably will not right away. Every job is useful for experience. You know, sometimes you can just rise up in that company or you have a job and you can apply elsewhere. And once you have a job, it is easier to get another job. So that's about the best I can tell you right now, but good luck to you.
Show. 
notifications if there's music playing in the store. So let's say if I went to Target, they have music playing there. I would have to mute their background and just do a voiceover and you wouldn't hear the sounds of like tapping on products and stuff like that. So for that reason, I have to stick with the, with the few places that I've been to and I don't want it to get too boring, you know, with the same products and everything, but let me know if you guys don't mind me muting out the whole background at the store and just doing a voiceover, you know, I would do that more often. If that made any sense, I don't know. Okay, from Mark Reyes, 2321. Just gotta ask you because your fans have to hear one of the most heartwarming stories from you. Do you remember when you were a small child? Your mom would always take you from school for lunch, but one day she couldn't make it and the staff told you that and they left you a lunch from her that she prepared for you and you screamed about it so loudly that practically the whole campus heard you. Just a question. I wanted to share that moment with your viewers. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so he's referring to a story that I told on one of my old videos. He has a great memory. So yeah, it was first grade and, um, I had really bad separation anxiety because my parents had just recently broken up. And, you know, I always, like, I, I, like I'm saying, I had a lot of trouble leaving my mother. And so she would take me home for lunch every day. It was like an agreement. You go to school, you know, you separate, go to school, and I will pick you up for lunch and then bring you back. Like, you were allowed to do that when I was a kid. So that's what we did. And then one day, 
or someone to tell me something or show me something that says for sure one thing or another. Yeah. So if you have that piece of information, let me know. I've been waiting for it. From Anna B. 5248. Did you eat the St. Patrick's Crumbles cookies? Not this year, but last year. I'm pretty sure I had the Lucky Charms um, cookie, which I think was St. Patrick's Day. And I don't think it was anything that special. I think it was just a sugar cookie type one with, um, you know, Lucky Charms marshmallows on it. From Nike Sign, what's one of your favorite memories from high school? Definitely my Sweet Sixteen party. Very memorable. I'm sure I talked about it in a video, but I shared my party with a friend of mine. Because I didn't want to have a party by myself. Because, like, I just don't like to be the center of attention. So I shared the party and we had an amazing, amazing time. Okay, from, I gotta spell this B R A X W Y Z C H A N N E L A S M R. Congratulations, my dear friend. You deserve only good things just like 45,000 subs in your channel. Thank you very much. Okay, from XYZ-FW4DN, what is your most memorable video that you think of often? And congrats. Europe, even though I'm not sure if that would be enough money. 
each other's company. Like that's one of the most important things is that you enjoy spending time together. From S.A. Taylor Swift, in my opinion, you are like a wise woman. Can you give me some tips for move on? Thank you. Um, I don't know what you're trying to move on from. Like move on from like a bad relationship you want to move on from, but I would say like if you have thought it through and you've decided that you want to leave something behind, then stay committed to that goal, you know? Like make sure you know what you want to do and then, then do it. Like don't turn back once, you, once you've left whatever it was that you're trying to get away from. Remember why you left. You know, that's the important thing. Remember why it is that you left and keep on moving. That's the best I could say without really knowing exactly what you mean. But thanks for the question. From Ramon 3SS, what's your zodiac sign and big three? I am a Cancer, and as far as my big three, I don't know, but I can tell you my birthday is June 25th, if that helps. Okay, from four, Jenny, what is your biggest pet peeve? I have lots of pet peeves, um, but I would say one of my big ones is passwords. Like, trying to remember passwords and, like, why they can't always be the same. Why some of them will say you need six letters, some say you need eight, some say you need a capital, a lowercase, and some kind of special sign. Sometimes they'll say you need a number, like they're all different rules, all different lengths. So you wind up with all these different passwords. I just spent like 15 minutes yesterday trying to sign into our Hulu account because for some reason it became unsigned into on the TV. And there I am trying to go through, you know how you have to do it on the TV. With the remote control, how it takes forever. And I kept coming out with the wrong answer. It was ridiculous. From Israel Zayas 8282, are you a vegetarian? Funny question. You see, me and Israel, we have a running joke that I eat terrible food and he loves salad. So we always joke about it. So, no, I am not a vegetarian, but I think he is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is a vegetarian. He loves salad. Only salad. Okay, from Miss Superola. What would you tell your younger self with where you are in your life right now? What would I tell my younger self? I would probably tell my younger self to choose a different major in college. Like, that's the only thing I could think of, really. Because although I used it for a while, like, if I could go back and do something different, I would. I would have chosen something that I could have come out of, you know, regular undergrad with a degree that you could use right away. So I would definitely tell my younger self that. Not that I'm saying you should all follow that, I'm just saying for myself. Okay, from... Ted Fred 3861, are you an animal person? Yes, I love animals. I just don't have any right now, but I truly, truly love them. And I cannot bear to see an animal hurt. It kills me worse than seeing a person get hurt, as weird as that is. Shark 06853, please do another bubblegum blowing video. No talking, big bubbles. I probably won't do another one like that. I I don't do no talking videos anymore. It's just, it's not what most people want. I mean, at least my viewers. From Call Me Vale 5802, may 
take a sip of my iced tea. 